Uh, well, I just replaced and put back in the new uh, Generation 2 MCU computer. Um, hopefully you watch that video if you care. And I put it in up there, and I'm thinking, okay, now what do I do? I'm dying to plug this thing in and see if it works. I'm sitting there thinking, wait a minute. I have taken the entire mech out to give me room to work in here. Maybe I should do a few things housekeeping-wise before I do that, since I am renovating this 1979 disco. And so one of the things um, I looked at is your fluorescent ballast. So this is a starter for a magnetic ballast that you know, sits back there, and it is a ballast, is a fluorescent tube. A 36 incher which goes from there and hooks in over here uh, which is your main light source for the main area lights it up and what makes it work is this thing right here this is a magnetic ballast and so this thing again it made it 1979 so it's over 40 years old and you see this nasty brown stuff dripping out here coming out that means that this puppy is leaking so it's it's about ready to die. So if I use it, I know I'm going to replace it sooner or later. So why not now? So I've got a, uh, you know, a Lowe's Home Depot kind of special thing that they sell. It's a Phillips ballast. This is an electronic ballast, which is good for one or two lamps and a T8, which is the, what this is. So I can retro that out, the old magnetic one, get rid of the nasty starters, put that in its place. Uh, it just takes a bit of different wiring because this one, it's, again, it's an old magnetic one from 79, but it had the power coming into it here. Your black and your, what that used to be white before the brown stuff got to it. And then a, a blue wire coming out the top. So the blue wire goes over to this side. Then actually the main power coming in from the box itself goes up and feeds this side. And then your starter, you know, works in parallel with that to make it work. So all you gotta do now is you read the box. And I'm glad that the starters themselves are pretty self-explanatory. So if you look on here, it just tells you that, you know, you're lined in. You got your black and your white, which are your black and your white. And it goes up and then you've got two blues and a red. And you put a red to one side, a blue to the other side, and there you go. So this thing could literally, it has enough wire. I can put it there and I can run the blue over to that, to the blue. And the red over there and cut out all the rest of the wires. And that will be it. The only problem is, you just see how it kind of fits in here at the top. And this one has a screw there and a screw under there. And reality is, is this one is taller. So the question is, is if I lower the lid... Is it going to hit that CPU? Can I install it on that bottom screw and still clear? I don't think it's going to work. I may have to resort to something a little more, I don't know, MacGyver-ish. Or I can go and just do what I've done on other ones and just put an LED in there, which is so much easier. But I don't know if the LED would look good in here. Anyway, thinking about that site, so I don't know. Basically, I'm going to open this one. I'm going to take this one off and let it just sit out of the way. I'm going to put the other one on. I'm going to close the lid and see if it hits it. Well, I closed it and it closed and it would not close. It's hitting this ballast. So that's not the right place for this ballast. It's just too tall. So now we kind of contemplate life. Go, well, the ballast doesn't have to be there. It can be 
pretty much anywhere we want it to be. So I could easily mount the ballast over here. Why not? And just go from there. Either that or I got a monkey around with like taking off. The, these are the two small ones, by the way. Let me get this out of the way. So this is for the main uh, 36 inch one that goes across here. And it just sits. Get that loosened up a bit. I don't know if to get it back on there or not. I don't know. Come on, you get on there. Okay, it's on enough. Okay, so then you've got these two small ones here. Um, one of them obviously been replaced because they fail like everything else. And these are the lights that one of them goes down to the bottom piece here that you can't see. And the other one goes up to a lamp that is up inside. I think it's, yeah, because see the wire here? There's a lamp up inside of here, a, a short one. So yeah. Oh, how much do I want to work on right now? Hmm. I might just leave the lamps alone and work on getting the box running, then come back and do, because obviously cosmetics are a good thing. And we want some decent lights in here. Really want to work on it while the mech is out though. But yeah, so word of the wisdom. Uh, one of these will work. You just have to mount it to the side and I might just end up doing that here in a minute. All right, so I want to take a video. Um, these are the four screws that came out and here's how they go back in. So um, this one is in there keeping track and such so uh, tall one short one short one tall one in those four spots so I took this sucker off and it literally <laughs> fell off in my hand after I carefully by the way carefully unplugged both of these connectors by squeezing and carefully pulling because they haven't been probably removed in, I don't know, 50 years. So anyway, now I can take a look and see what the heck is this. So if I look in here inside of it, I can see all the connectors for all three of these ballast, well, actually transformers, but the ballast. So now I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do. Okay, maybe it was uh, a glass of wine, or maybe it was the fact that I don't like these nasty old ballasts that are 50 years old, just leaking, being nasty. So, decided to take the plunge, cut it out, chop this puppy out. These things, by the way, they weigh a ton compared to the new ones. Remember the new one? Hang on, take some wine. I better. Um, the new ones are longer. And because it's longer than the old one, uh, I couldn't put it on the front because the when I close the lid, the computer hits it and it won't close. So I just basically took this small transformer that goes to one of the other smaller lamps and that I just basically swapped them. So I just... See the wires are kind of going in these holes. They're all back in here, so I just fished the wires around and moved this one from over there to here. No big deal. And then I took you know, the wires that were for the front one and stuffed them back in and pulled them out this side. Or actually, I pulled them back in there and then I mounted this on the side and pulled in the black and the white and the blue inside and that's where those just made basically three connections with these you just you know you crimp them with a crimping tool just like they had done a bunch of other ones there's a ton of them in here already so 
just add my my connections in with everybody else's so now those are all connected so the blue one is connected just like the old blue one was and what that does if I can figure it out here it plugs into that blue there which will plug on and, and then it'll go up and it'll make its way around uh, kind of long slow train but it goes up and around and it goes over here and I don't know if you see that blue wire there but there it is so I just clipped the black wire because that's to the old uh, starter let's get that puppy out of here while we got a chance okay so that wire is gone so we got the blue wire so once I put this back in I'll have the blue wire uh, properly connected per the uh, diagram then I just have to have the red wire go to the other end which is right here and this piece I can unbolt this from the wall so I can have a little more room to work and take it out and I'm just going to basically take the white wire and splice it in with the red wire and put it back and then I will be done. And the red wire will just kind of like come up and go in behind the CPA and come back down. Because there should be enough of the, the red wire that they gave me to, to make that happen. Okay, so I put this back, plugged it in, ran the wet red wire back in behind that CPA and put it into this tombstone on the end here. Now I put the light back in it. Let's uh, turn it on and see what happens. So the light works. So, yeah, there you go. Oh, by the way, I didn't realize, but that bulb is also in the way of where the ballast would be. I <laughs> didn't realize it before. So the other one ended here. This one goes all the way up. So by putting it on the side, it, it fits basically. You can't put, you can't replace the front one because it's just too darn long. Anyway, there you go. That's how you replace the ballast with, from magnetic to an electronic and get rid of the starter. Fun, fun.